there, this is Ms. Novikoski from My Home to Yours, and this week's math game is called Shut the Box. And this game has been around for centuries. Traditionally, it's a wooden box with these little wooden tiles. You roll the dice and then turn down tiles that equal that sum. And I'm gonna show you some different ways to play. So to play shut the box, you roll the dice and you add them together. So I have a sum of eight and then you turn down the tiles. So I can either turn down the eight or any combination of tiles that equal eight. So I could do seven and one, I could do five and three, I could do six and two, I could do five and two and one. It's up to you. So for this turn, I'm gonna turn down the eight. And I roll again. This time I have a seven, I'm gonna turn down the seven. The goal of the game is to get the lowest score at the end, and the score is determined by how many tiles are left up, and then you add those up to get your score. So I have a four, I'm gonna turn down a four. And then one of the rules of shut the box is once you have the seven, eight, and nine turned down, you can only use one dice or you can use two dice, it's your choice. So I have an eight again. Um, I've already got my eight down, and so I'm gonna go with the five and the three for this turn. And I have an eight again. Still have some ways to make eight here, so I'm going to do six and two. Again, oh, and I got a nine, so I can turn that down. And now, to get the one, I'm only gonna roll one dice. And I didn't get it, so my score is one. So to play with a partner or more than um, one other person, you just take turns. So I play around and I recorded my score from my first round, which was one. And then my partner had a turn, their score was three. And then I had a score again and my score was 10. And then they had a turn and it was two. And you just keep going back and forth. You decide how many rounds you want to play. And then you can either uh, figure out what your average is for your score or how many rounds each person won and whoever won the most number of rounds, they can be the winner. You can determine that at the beginning between you and those that you're playing with. You can also play shut the box without a box. So you can just lay out your cards, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and play it in the same way by rolling the two dice. Sum is seven, so I can choose to turn over seven or another combination of those cards. I got seven again, um, so this time I'm gonna do, do four and three. And there's a five. And again, you can just keep playing in the same way, but with cards instead. So I'm gonna make my own shut the box out of a oatmeal box that I found in our recycling. And so you look for a box that's about the right sort of size and shape. I'm just gonna, you can measure if you want. I'm not gonna be too fussy here about the opening. I'm just gonna estimate. And let's go up this side here. And there I've created an opening for my shut the box. I'm gonna cut off these flaps. You don't need those. I'm going to cut holes on the sides and then push the skewer through. You could use a straw or a chopstick. And then I'm gonna make little number tiles and glue or tape them so that they will spin. So I have put my skewer through the box. I just cut little um, circles on the sides to weave that through. And I measured my little tiles and numbered them one to nine. And I have folded them here so that I can hang them over, I have to think about which way to do this so that it flips up. And I don't want to attach it to the skewer because I want it to be able to move. So you could either just put a little bit of glue on the end or I'm just gonna use a little bit of clear tape here. And then I can turn this tab up and down. 